And we continue to look at the congressional districts topping the ballot, zeroing in on the races in South Jersey, where both incumbents in the first and second districts are household names who also spent time in New Jersey's legislature. But are their seats safe? Senior writer and projects manager Colleen O'Day is here with the latest. Colleen, just a couple of weeks to go now, it's really winding down. Let's talk about South Jersey, districts one and two. Um, we've got Jeff Van Drew seeking another term, Donald Norcross. Um, what are the big differences between the incumbents and their challengers in those districts? So it, it seems that the same kind of issues that are playing around the state are, are playing down in South Jersey. Um, you've got Republicans that are you know, essentially criticizing the Biden administration for actions that that have been taken, uh, too much spending, not supporting the infrastructure bill, the Inflation Reduction Act, and um, supporting on the case of abortion, which is another issue we know is being talked about, supporting the Supreme Court decision that, you know, kicks um, abortion rights back to the states. Um, in the first district, you know, you've got Donald Norcross, who's been in for um, four terms, facing for a second time, Republican Clara Gustafson. Uh, she lost two years ago. Um, and in the second district, of course, you've got Jeff Van Drew, lifelong Democrats, switched to Republican in his first term in Congress when right. he refused right. to vote for the impeachment of Donald Trump. His opponent is Tim Alexander, who is an Atlanta County Democrat, former prosecutor, civil rights attorney, um, doesn't have a lot of money and, you know, is campaigning, but it's going to be a hard district for, for a Democrat to win in. Yeah, and Van Drew, we should note, one of just two of New Jersey's GOP Congress members. Does his party switch from 2019? Does that even resonate still with voters? Does anyone um, care about that at all at this point in time? I, I don't think so. You know, that district has become more Republican as a result of redistricting and the fact that he won so easily in his primary um, two years ago and then, you know, won re-election fairly handily means that the Republicans down there have, have embraced him. And actually they had when he was in the state legislature because even though he was a Democrat, he always won fairly easily in his much smaller um, legislative district. Yeah, let's just very quickly touch on District 4, where Chris Smith uh, holds the seat as the incumbent, New Jersey's other Republican congressional member. Is that looking like it'll be a close match? Not at all. Smith is the tied for the longest serving congressperson in the nation. Um, so he's fairly well ensconced there in his district. Um, he's facing Matthew Jenkins, who has done a few things in his in his life. Um, currently, he's a residential home builder, again, d a Democrat without much funding and, uh, you know, certainly outnumbered in the district. Colleen O'Day, keeping it all straight for us. Thanks, Colleen. Thank you, Bree.